I'm overlapping relay, I double back and replay. It's not a game, no EA. I'm global trapping eBay. I make it look so easy. You'll never touch a cement. I double profits each way. Relay, relay. So I finally got my package and I've had the bike now for about six months, right? And I have done tons of upgrades as far as aesthetics and now finally I'm starting to do some that will help with the performance of my bike. So I ordered this one, which is my intake. I love getting packages, especially from Revzilla. Boom. Ooh. That Arlen is big sucker though. Alright, so anyways, let's take this straight to the install. I'm gonna put this on all this thing, so I'm about to put this bitch on right now. So I'll see you guys there. Peace. Alright guys, so let's get started. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is kind of like an unboxing. Pretty much let you guys know what comes included in this kit. Again, this is the uh Arlen Ness Big Sucker, the Stage 1 Big Sucker, excuse me. Put this over here. Boom. And that over there. That's gonna look hella sexy on the bike. So you got the backing plate, air filter element, back plate spacer, air filter cover, breather bolts, breather bolt washers. Pretty straightforward, I'm kind of going to walk you guys through it, but let's start by uh, taking the stock air filter off the bike. Uh, so it's actually a, a hex, Maybe a little bit smaller, four, oh, one's not going to go, that one's not going to go. Off to a great start. Uh, we might have a winner. Alright guys, so it is supposed to be done with a, uh, a hex it, but when in doubt, torques it out. You know what I'm saying? Gotta do what you gotta do to get the job done. Alright, so Remove that bolt, remove the air cleaner cover. I might. Oh, look at that. Boom. And just so you guys know, this is a uh, T27. So now I'm actually removing the air filter. I was uh, watching a couple videos. People were saying that the install uh, took about an hour, maybe a little bit over an hour if people ran into problems. But it seems pretty straightforward. Yes, of course, you don't know until you get it all done, right? Let's get this bad boy off. Definitely make sure that you hang on to all your hardware, guys. You never know when you're gonna need it. And that filter is super dirty too. A little leaf in there. Boom. So we're gonna remove that. Now I gotta take these off here. Aha, 916. So now uh, we're taking off the uh, backing plate. I am by no means a mechanic. There's people who need kind of like a step-by-step. -step. Uh, this is my attempt at giving you what you need. All right, so you got both these bad boys and that should be it for that. Boom, got that plate off. So T30 Torx bit to get this bad boy off. And that takes off this little uh, bracket again. Hex are supposed to be used to take these off, but I do not have a hex bit that fits these. 
So, Torx bit it is. I thought that Loctite came included in here, but it did not. All right, so the next part will be uh, putting these screws into these standoffs. Um, you're gonna pretty much, it's gonna thread all these until the screw is all the way in to the standoffs. This is pretty much what's gonna hold uh, the backing plate for your Arlen S Big Sucker to the actual bike, but it's gonna keep it bolted away from the bike. And again, Loctite to make sure that it is secure. I will add it later, not right now. The next part, <laughs> it says high intensity grease is supposed to be added in order to hold these o-rings in place not even going to show you guys what i'm using but i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of this anyways did not say that the high intensity grease has a performance aspect in this at all it's literally just used as a, a kind of adhesive to hold these o-rings on here but boom holds it in place so it's working. All right, so the actual next step to this is going to be putting the gaskets on. Again, the order in which these go, gasket, spacer, gasket. So you do have to put them in a specific order. You can't just throw these on however you want to. You're gonna take your standoffs I'm going to use these to actually hold the gaskets in place while I'm installing the backing plate onto the actual bike. So if you set two of them, boom. Now if you are installing this right, everything should line up. If something's not lining up right, you're probably not doing it right. Okay, so line them up here. I'm gonna hit them with a little twist tighten. Be very careful not to cross thread anything because you only get so much hardware with these. Doesn't come with any spares. Okay, so those are hand tightened on. I'm gonna hit this with a hand tighten as well. The big old breather bolts. So you make sure you get your washers for these. Boom. Boom. Put that there. Put that there. Now again, these are uh, these are hex. So hopefully, I have the size that fits this one. I think this one might be a winner. Yes, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So we're gonna tighten this down real quick. Never tighten anything down all the way until you kind of have everything else tightened. Yeah. So I'm gonna use the half on here. I'll tighten them little by little. Kind of want to make sure you're tightening everything kind of at the same pace. Work this down a little bit, boom. Work this a little bit, boom. So we got the standoffs installed. We got the breather bolts installed. The backing plate is now officially installed. So next guys, and they keep this pretty uh, nice and simple for you. Okay, so you kind of kind of gonna see how it goes 
you should be able to see all your holes obviously I don't know if you guys can see that but everything kind of lines up right there where you're gonna install these now there are no washers for these ones so this is just gonna be a straightforward install boom so this is gonna be a hex gonna grab a little allen key set here just give it a little tighten again don't torque anything until you have everything flush okay so uh, the white thing right here this is actually a spacer it's like a baggy something else would come in you know what I'm saying so your spacer is gonna go right here So you'll put your bolt again through there. You're gonna put your spacer on the backhand side. All right, get this lined up here. So let's go back. Daddy needs his Torx bolts. Boom, and put back on this T27. I'm gonna give it a little tighten down. That is not going to come off. And I think we are good to go. And guys, that is how you install your Arlen S Stage 1 Big Sucker. I heard that you can hear these bad boys pretty good, like actually pulling the air in. can definitely hear it and that's amazing dude and this is just step one so now that I got this done next thing is my exhaust which you guys have yet to know exactly what it is but you will know soon and then I get my Vance and Hines FP3 tuner add some horsepower if you guys did like uh, the walkthrough or have any questions please feel free to comment below like share subscribe this video may help out somebody else if it helps you. Um, until next time, guys, peace.